What you doing? Making some stew for lunch. Nice. I bet you that's gonna feel good on a nice chilly morning. Right? It is 31 out. That's gonna be a nice lunch. I got the wood stove going in the kitchen. Okay. It's a few degrees warmer in the kitchen. It will we'll get warmer. <laughs> what are you doing, Figaro? Are you causing trouble? Putting holes into everybody's socks? Huh? Troublemaker. Alright, while well, you finish doing that, I'm gonna go outside and get some buckets set up. And a few more things. I'm gonna get the hose out for you. And get everything set up, and we'll be ready to go. The water's almost up to temperature. So, we we'll get the chickens. Ready to go. Okay, got my long johns on. Perfect, you're gonna need them. <laughs> We're gonna start this morning off right. We're gonna make some sausage, egg and cheese sandwiches. Sausage from the pigs. Nice. And we put some maple syrup in with these sausage when we were making it. All these are gonna be delicious. Some browning of that. I bet you that's from the syrup. We're gonna be using pork broth from our pigs last weekend for a stew. Sausage looks delicious, sizzling up nicely. So we're gonna have some of the pork in our breakfast this morning. We're gonna have some of it in our lunch. Miss Animal Whisperer, how are you feeling this morning? Still, I feel still sore, but a little bit better. How's Figaro? He looks like he's just relaxing. He's hard to see on camera sometimes. He's so much black, he blends in. Mmm, looks good. No, thank you. You need to pay attention and not be doing stuff. Did you get Sasha the first bite? Mm hmm. That's good. I like it. You don't know what you're missing out on, Libby's. Tomorrow you can have some if you're feeling up to it. Yeah, because I don't think my throat's ready to. Get down. Figure out, get down. Can you grab me? Good morning, modern standards. This morning's video is not going to be a how-to butcher video. If you want a how-to video, I'll put a link right here in the video description down below on a how-to video. We're just going to be taking you along through the process of the day. We're not going to be showing you the greasy, gorm, gory stuff. We like having the hose nozzle on the hose and not screwed right into our yard bird. We had a fellow modern steader and business owner send up this nice solid brass hose nozzle for us to try out and review for them. So we're going to try it out today. I'll put a link in the description down below to where you can buy this nozzle. It's 99.9% .9 lead free. It's heavy duty. We just bought a regular nozzle sprayer so that way we can just turn it on and off like that. Let's see how it works. While I have the cooler filling up with cold water, let me just show you our setup out here. We have our birds in the crate our cones. Underneath it we got a pail with wood chips to collect the blood and we'll compost all that. We have our table set up. We got our scalder 
which is set on 146 degrees and we got our plucker and over under the plucker is a bucket to catch the feathers there is a hole down there this spins it and it shoots the feathers out the bottom so we have a five gallon bucket filled with holes to let the water out the cooler filling up with water and we have the outdoor kitchen set up we got our stainless steel tables and our mop sink and a fire going you can adjust the temperature on your scalder for the temperature that works best for your birds. We're going to try 146. We can turn it up and down as we need to. We got to our seventh chicken with the plucker and it quit working. We don't know what it is, but that's not good. We're going to see if we can get one here for next weekend. We're going to finish doing the 20 birds that we have started. We're going to have to hand pluck the last 12 of them, I believe. It's not going to be fun, but we'll get it done. So when it comes to the Yardbird chicken plucker, this was the third time we went to use it. The first time we did the meat broilers, I think we had, we ordered 25, I think we processed 22, 21 or 22, and we did one bird, no we did two birds, we tried that, and then most of the time we just put one bird in at a time, and the average bird was five pounds, so they weren't big birds. The second time, I think we did 15 barb rocks. And they weren't overly big. The third time, which is today, I thought we were on our seventh bird. Gina thinks we were only on our fourth bird. On our second bird, the motor quit. We were able to reset it and it started working again. On our fourth or seventh bird, it just quit altogether. We couldn't reset it or anything. The plucker itself works great. It's the motor. I don't know what's up with it. We'll have to call Yardbird on Monday. Today's our Saturday. Um, I've got Jason from Coops and More sending up one of his so we can try that out and finish up the other 25 next weekend. We plan on doing all the meat birds today, but having to hand pluck them slows you down quite a bit. So we got. You only have me this weekend. And I only have you this weekend. I gotta do the rest myself next weekend. Man, that was the big reason we were trying to get it done this weekend. So we got half of them done. It took as much time to do half of them as it would have taken to do 50 of them if the plucker was working. So we'll have to let you know what Yardbird says when we hear back from them. But for now, I'm not endorsing them. If anybody asks me what to buy for a chicken plucker, not a Yardbird. That's that. Alright, so let's try this. Should that come over? Look at those beauties. Her name is Anthony. I call you beauty all the time.
now we need to bag up. Ready? What do I have to do? I pull it from. Right? You gotta pull the straw out and pull this. Um, or I'll pull that. And you. So we got our scalder set to 185 degrees. Last one. Woohoo! They did a good job. They did. It looks weird looking out the window and not seeing the pigs over there. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And it's scrap. Oh, I'm going to get a scrap. Oh. Yeah. No. Good. Last one. Cut the scalder off. Oh, perfect. All right, I'll wash my hands in a minute. That's where we're going to stop today's video. I know we're going to have tons of footage to go through. Tomorrow's video, we're going to be talking about the different breeds, the weights. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.